Hello and welcome in this lesson. In this lesson we will learn, what is voice over LTE, Volte. In LTE network, in order for the UE, to be able to make voice calls, the UE should connect to an external network. This external network is called, IMS network. This is called voice over LTE, Volte. The first node in IMS network that the UE connects to, is called, PCSCF. Which refers to, proxy call session control function. The UE and the IMS network, will exchange signaling messages, in order to establish, or release, voice calls. The signaling messages between the UE and the IMS network, is done using a protocol, called, SIP, protocol. The UE will exchange signaling messages with the IMS network, in order to make a voice call, to another UE. And the IMS network, will exchange signaling messages with this another UE, in order to receive this voice call. In turn, both parties will be able to communicate with each other. In order to establish the voice call, first the UE will create a default TPS bearer, that will connect the UE, to IMS PDN. This default TPS bearer, will be assigned a quality of service profile. And the QCI value in this quality of service profile, will be, QCI 5. As we learned before, the QCI can be, from 1, to 9. And from this table we can see that, QCI 5, is suitable for IMS signaling. This default TPS bearer, with QCI 5, will be used to pass, SIP signaling messages, between the UE, and the IMS network. Then once the signaling messages are exchanged, between the UE and the IMS network, in order to establish a voice call, the IMS network will signal the other UE, in order to receive this voice call. Once both parties are ready to participate in the voice call, the network will create, a dedicated EPS bearer, that will be used, to pass media streams of the call, between the originating UE, and the receiving UE. This dedicated EPS bearer, will be assigned a quality of service profile, with QCI1, in case of voice call, or QCI2, in case, of video call. From the table of QCI values, we can see that, QCI1 is suitable for conversational voice, while QCI2, is suitable for conversational video. In summary, in order to be able to initiate a voice or a video call, while connected to LTE network, the UE first creates a default TPS bearer, with QCI5, that will be used to pass signaling messages, between the UE and the IMS network. Then the network will create a dedicated EPS bearer, with QCI1, in case of voice call, or QCI2, in case of video call, to pass the media streams of the call, between the originating UE and the receiving UE. I hope this was informative for you. Thank you, and see you in the next lesson.